What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Phenomenal Price Vlogs, with the Camera Nation, like usual, because we <laughs> never film videos alone. Because you know, we would it'd be boring without by ourselves. But we are here to do SummerSlam, and there is an and NXT Takeover prediction in one huge video. Are you ready for this? We're gonna have a wager on this. This could be like a 20 minute video. Oh yeah, what should the bet be? I was thinking. No, I'll have my, I'll have my idea and you give my idea or whatever. My idea was because I have a rainbow curly wig. It kind of looks like six nine. Maybe we could go around and look like six nine, the yeah. rapper, and like whoever loses has to wear it. Do yeah. you have an idea? Not really, but we should leave it up to the fans. I thought maybe. If you have, if you guys have a good idea for who what the losers should do, go down in those comments right now and tell us what the losers should do. But we are here to do one huge. Um, SummerSlam and NXT TakeOver predictions in one whole video because I didn't want to do two separate videos because that'd be weird. So are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. We might go a little quick on some of the matches and then, all right, so here we go. And at the day we are filming this, it is um, Wednesday and this is going up a week later. So not all the matches are official. So this is probably going to be an awkward one, but we're still going to do it anyways. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. This is going to be like 20 minutes long. All right. So, first match is EC3 versus Velveteen Dream. And my pick, I'm going for um, EC3. I'm going for EC3. Uh, EC3. EC3. So, EC3. we're both going for the yeah. same one. It, I think this could be a good match. This might be match of the night, depending. I don't know. NXT Women's Championship. The champion, Shayna Baszler against Kyrie Sane. She's like a captain girl. So. Okay. So, who are you going for? Kyrie Sane. You're going for Kyrie Sane yeah. to win the title? Yeah. Alright, then I'll go for Shayna Baszler to retain. That I think this will be another good match because Triple H, he's a GOAT. He runs NXT. North American Championship. The champion, Adam Cole, baby! Versus Ricochet. Adam Cole. To retain? And no, I, I'm going to clear something up. Adam Cole, Michael Cole, and his dad. That's what he always says. He says Michael Cole is Adam Cole's dad or whatever. He's not. Duh. So I'm going to go for Adam Cole to retain. <laughs> Who are you picking? Ricochet or Adam Cole? I said Adam Cole. Oh, so we're both going for Adam Cole. I think, this is my prediction, I think this will be match of the night on NXT TakeOver. Mark my words, that's going to be match of the night. NXT Tag Team Titles, The Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly versus Mustache Mountain, which is Tyler Bate and Trent Steven. I'm going for Mustache Mountain. To win the titles? Yeah. Okay. I want freaking Pete Dunne in here. It can be British Strong Style. I'm going to go for the Undisputed Era to retain. All my people are retaining the titles. That's my prediction. So, we have... It's not confirmed yet because Aleister Black got injured. But, NXT title champion Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano versus Aleister Black. That's like the confirmed match. But now, Aleister Black got injured. So, it might just be Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. So, if it's Ciampa versus Gargano, who are you picking? Ciampa. To retain. Yeah. All right. If it's Champa versus Gargano versus Alistair Black, who are you picking? I'm still picking Champa. So either way, you're picking yeah. Champa. So if it's a triple threat, I'm going for Johnny Gargano to win. If it's a one-on-one -on -one match, I'm going to pick Tommaso Champa to retain. Dang. Okay. So that is our NXT Takeover predictions. Yeah, it's kind of quick because one, he doesn't really watch NXT, so there's like nothing to really talk about. So now we are going to move into the big guns, SummerSlam predictions. The big guns. Yeah. Cruiserweight Championship. We got the champion, Cedric Alexander, versus Drew Goulash. I call him Drew Goulash. So who are you picking? Ced Cedric Alexander. You're picking Cedric Alexander. I, I'm going to... I can't really see Drew Goulash as champion, so I'm going to beg Cedric Alexander to retain. So are we both going for Alexander? Yeah. Okay. Next match isn't confirmed yet, but it could either be Rusev versus Aiden English or Rusev and Lana against Andrade Cien Almas and Zelina Vega. So if it's Rusev versus English, who are you picking? Rusev. Okay, if it's the mixed tag team match, who are you picking? Rusev. And Lana? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. If it's um, Rusev and English, I'm picking Rusev. If it's um, the mixed tag team match, I'll pick Rusev and Lana because happy Rusev Lana day. Next match, we got Finn Balor versus Constable Baron Corbin. This is this is gonna be freaking boring as crap. Crap match. Yeah, match that we already seen a hundred times. I'm going for uh, 
Constable Corbin. To win? Yeah. I'm gonna go for Finn Balor, even though I could care freaking less about I don't, this I match. want Finn Balor to win, but I just see Baron Corbin winner. Constable yeah. Corbin. Yeah, this is, I, I guess it's their rubber match or something like that. This match, another match that is not official yet since we're doing this early, like I said. It is the B team versus either the Revival or versus the Revival and the Deleters of World in a triple threat match. Who are you picking? I picked uh, the Revival. To win the titles? Yeah. Either way, if it's like tag team or triple threat tag team? If it's triple threat, I'll... Still take the revival. Okay, what if there's not even a raw tag team match at all? Because they're having a raw tag team match this coming Monday. Probably you guys already saw it because this is going up on the Thursday after, but we're filming like freaking a week early. So, so they might not have one at SummerSlam. They might not, but if there is, I'm picking the revival to win. If it's a triple threat, I'm still going to pick the revival because they need to be tag team champions. Okay, SmackDown Live tag team championship match. We got the Bludgeon Brothers against the New Day. Who are you picking to win this? The Bludgeon Brothers. You're picking the Bludgeon Brothers to retain? I could, oh my god. I was so mad when the New Day won against the bar because they're, the New Day is like the Roman Reigns of the tag team division. So I'm going to pick the New Day because I freaking hate the Bludgeon Brothers as tag team champions. So we got opposite ones on that? Yeah. SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This match is some bull crap. We got Carmella versus Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. And Charlotte is also the Roman Reigns of the women's division because she's always in the tag team matches and I freaking hate it. Um, I'm going to go for Becky Lynch to win. She deserves it. I'll go. I think Charlotte will win. If Charlotte wins, I will literally freaking do something that I have never done before. I will go insane. You guys will see if you're happy or mad. I'll be mad because Charlotte doesn't Always deserve wins. it. She wins the pay-per-view a lot. Because she's a freaking Roman Reigns of the women's division. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna go for Becky Lynch. She's going for Charlotte. Um, so Carmella probably not gonna retain either no. way. Okay, United States Championship match. At the moment that we are filming it, it is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jeff Hardy. But we all know Randy Orton is likely to come into this match and make it a triple threat. So, United States Championship, my plastic little toy belt. I am going to go for, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, Shinsuke Nakamura. But if it's such a triple threat with Randy Orton, you know I'm going for Randy Orton because he's a freaking go as a heel. If it's a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going for Shinsuke, and if it's... A triple threat I'm going to probably for Randy Orton. Yeah. Do you still... That's that's not we need to address right now, because you loved Shinsuke Nakamura. Do you still like Shinsuke? Not really. Why? His, uh, his like, a uh, gimmick right now. Oh, like, the low blow thing? Yeah, that's lame. I don't like it. So who's your favorite wrestler now? I don't know. Maybe. Probably AJ or something? Yeah, someone like or that. Or Rollins? I don't know. Yeah. So... I wish Nakamura's, uh didn't do the low blows no more. They overused it. Yeah, it was, cool it, it was way too overused. Next match, we got... <laughs> Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens for the Money in the Bank briefcase. If um, Strowman loses, Owens gets the briefcase. I got Strowman. Um, to retain the briefcase. I I don't really care who wins this. I want Kevin Owens because I think he'd be a cool Universal Champion because he was a cool Universal Champion before. So I'm going to pick Kevin Owens. I, and I also said Money That's in the Bank. That's my bold prediction. I said Money in the Bank that... Strowman was going to win the ladder match, and who did? He won. Yeah. Which, he can win the title without the briefcase, so it's kind of pointless. So, Owens deserves to be Mr. Money in the Bank. That's my prediction. Okay, next match. We got Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. I'm bringing out the plastic belts once again. I am going to go for Seth Rollins to win it back, finally. I'm this going for... I'm going for Rollins, too. Remember when we were at Raw and Ziggler won the title? Yeah, that was we a were, We were at the Raw that Ziggler won the title. If you didn't see that video, go and watch it, because it's pretty dope. The kid behind us would not shut up, bro. Yep. So, who are you going for? I'm going for Rollins. Okay, we're both going for Rollins to win back the Intercontinental Championship. All right, this is going to be a big match. We got Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. I, oh, you already know. There's no discussion about this. I'm going for my boy, The Miz. I love The Miz. I'm going for Daniel Bryan. Why? Because I didn't think Daniel Bryan the one. Remember when Daniel Bryan was your favorite wrestler, like, back Be then? Before he got injured? Yeah. Injured? It was a real injury. It wasn't. It was, but not as real as people thought it was. They just want to kill his character off. <laughs> no, they didn't. He was the... Okay. Yeah, dude, we're going to get into it. I'll explain it to you a little later. Okay. Daniel's so go. I'm going for The Miz. 
He's going for Daniel Bryan. I think this match or the next match that we're going to talk about later could steal the show. Next match for the Raw Women's Championship. We got Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey. No question about it. I already know who I'm picking. Ronda Rousey's going to win. I'm picking Ronda Rousey. She's I thought you were going to say Alexa Bliss for a second. No, Ronda Rousey is a mess up Alexa Bliss. I know. She, those those moves that she does when like she flips her opponent Ooh. over, the, that it looks like they actually hurt. Or when she has them up on their shoulder and then does that one thing. It looks she like... She ended up breaking Alexa Bliss's arm. <laughs> It's going to be a freaking painful match to watch. So, we're both going for Ronda Rousey. Alright, for the Universal Championship, the match that no one wants to see, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. And, of course, we got to bring out Plastic Universal Championship. I'm going for Roman Reigns. Even, I mean, Roman Reigns is kind of growing on me. Like, he's not one of my favorites. I just, I don't want to see Brock Lesnar as Universal Champion anymore. I'm going for Roman Reigns, too. Yeah. I think Brock will probably lose it. Either way, he, he better lose it. I'm going to make a bold prediction and say Roman Reigns wins the Universal Championship, and then Kevin Owens, who wins Money in the Bank, which is my prediction, from Braun Strowman, he is going to cash in and become two-time Universal Champion. That's my bold prediction. Yeah. Actually, my bold prediction, whoever wins between Strowman and Owens is going to cash in this same night. So we're going to have a new Universal Champion either way. Hopefully Strowman wins. I want him that champion. So you're going for Reigns in the one-on-one -on -one match? Yeah. Okay. Last match of the night. We got my boy AJ Styles Taking awesome. versus Samoa Joe. Yeah, for the WWE Championship. You already know, no discussion about it. AJ Styles is retaining the title, even though I know Samoa Joe is probably going to win. Who's your pick? I want AJ to win, but I think Samoa Joe will get to win. I mean,. I almost want Samoa Joe to be champion, but I don't want AJ to lose at the same time. Yeah. So, like I said with the Daniel Bryan and the Miz, I think this match, AJ versus Joe, is going to steal the show. What What's your What is the match that you are most hyped about? Probably for SummerSlam. Yeah. I'm probably most hyped for this match. The AJ one. Samoa Joe AJ. What about NXT Takeover? What are you most hyped for? Probably, probably the. Uh, the NXT Championship match. Yeah. This is our NXT TakeOver and SummerSlam huge prediction video. Are we going to separate it into two bets, like NXT TakeOver bet and SummerSlam bet, or are we just going to combine it into combine one it. bet? Okay. So, our idea, you know, putting on the curly wig, walking around, maybe and trying to impersonate 6 9 or maybe if you guys have better ideas, put those in the comments below right now. Um, so, yeah. If you guys like this video, leave a big thumbs up, code comment down below. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and go subscribe to our co-channel, our super channel. Yes. Are we ever going to post a video on that channel? We will. We better. All right. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys. This is going up on Thursday. We will see you guys next week. Maybe I'll be by myself. Who knows? Um, that's it. Why? Because this channel is just too phenomenal. Deuces.